Hi, this is Chris Salas. I'd like to share with you some pearls for the Demec triple procedure. The challenge of combining cataract surgery with Demec is that the two procedures have competing requirements. On the one hand, safe Demec surgery requires reversible dilation for a small pupil and a small capsular rexus to keep the lens in the bag. On the other hand, cataract surgery requires durable dilation or a large pupil and a normal sized capsular rexus. In the end, the Demec must take precedence over the cataract surgery so as to preserve the long-term viability of the endothelial cells. Preoperative evaluation for a Demec triple requires that the surgeon assess the cataract from the perspective of knowing that the capsular rexus will be small and that it is very likely that the pupil will be shrinking before the end of the procedure. If the patient has any risk factors for poor dilation such as IFIS, or if the cataract will be unsafe to remove through a small capsular rexus and incomplete pupillary dilation, the surgeon should have a low threshold for staging the procedure. Whether cataract surgery is staged or combined with Demec into a triple procedure, IOLs should be selected for a myopic target to achieve emetropia. Eyes with more edematous corneas will require a more myopic target because of the greater hyperopic shift that occurs after the cornea detrogesces. Above all, it's important to counsel patients that cataract surgery performed in conjunction with Demec surgery, whether staged or in a combined procedure, has lower predictability than cataract surgery performed alone. To attain reversible dilation, the surgeon can use three or more drops of phenylephrine 2.5%. Dilation can be augmented with a well-placed, generous retrobulbar block as well. If needed, one drop of phenylephrine 10% can be used as well as atraumatic pupil expansion devices such as an eye ring or iris hooks. Anything that prolongs pupillary dilation should be avoided or not used at all, including tropicamide, intracameral epinephrine, cyclopentylate, NSAIDs, and epinephrine in the irrigation fluid. Intraoperatively, it is important that the surgeon make impeccable watertight wounds, which help to maintain the chamber when it is shallow during the unscrolling portion of the procedure. Excellent wounds also help to prevent leakage of the SF6 gas bubble at the end of the procedure. A temporal approach places the main incision in the longest meridian of the cornea, which minimizes the overlap between the main incision and the dysmetorexis, and in turn reduces the risk of detachment. A capsular rexus of 4 to 4.5 millimeters helps to sequester the IOL in the bag and prevent its prolapse when the anterior chamber is shallow during the unscrolling portion of the Demec procedure. Above all, cataract surgery combined with the Demec procedure needs to be expedient, yet safe. Iris trauma should be avoided because it can cause bleeding, and capsular trauma should be avoided because it can cause vitreous loss, both of which can make Demec surgery much more challenging than it needs to be. Here's a video of a Demec triple procedure that I performed as a fellow under Mark Terry and Mike Stryko.
Thanks for watching. Really hope this video helps. For a more detailed breakdown of injection and tissue manipulation techniques, please see my other videos.